Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a trade show. My name is DJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at a whole bunch of new items that hopefully once again will find their way on your layouts. We have a whole bunch of different items to take a look at in different sizes. So without any further hesitation, let's get going. We're going to go all the way to end scale land. We're going to start out small today. We're going to take a look at some new auto racks that I think you're really going to like. So let's check them out. As you can see here, I have these brand new auto racks from Scale Trains. These are, of course, the multi-level auto racks. And as you can see, these are really cool looking designs here. We have seen auto racks before on the show, mostly in Asia scale, but we are, have these Scale Train ones here in N scale. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different row names. I have a whole bunch of different variations, too. And these are just really great looking cars here. I really like that Union Pacific. I think that really pops there. I got a bunch of different variations. For example, I had the Canadian Pacific with the Beaver. And I also have it in just a plain CP. And I got some other ones here I didn't take out of the box yet. But I got Kansas City Southern. I got Norfolk Southern if you want the logo with the horse head. If you want to get my lone orange car here, I do have the BNSF. And then I actually had two variations of the Canadian National, even though they're very subtle. I have the white CN, and I have the red CN. So these are just great looking cars here. So if you're looking for some auto racks to put on your railroad and you are a N scaler, I think this is the way to go. If you take a look at these cars here, especially at the detailing that we have here at the end, it's very impeccable. Scale Trains does a phenomenal job taking a look at all the hard work that they put into these things. And if you are a eye for detail, if you have an eye for detail rather, I think you're really, really, really going to like these cars because these are just great looking cars. And if you want to model something that's a little bit more modern than, uh, you know, kind of the things that you see out there on the rails today, I think these auto racks fit the bill. I think these are great looking cars. You're really going to like them. And the neat thing about them is I have a whole bunch of different road names and numbers. So I could get a whole bunch and have a nice long unit train. Now these cars from Scale Trains, as I said, are just really packed with the detail. And the price is pretty good. They retail for $55.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $44.99. That's an awesome deal to get on these cars here. And again, if you just take a look at the detailing that goes into these cars here, you're really going to like these things. I mean, I can't tell you how nicely done these cars are. And they have a little bit of weight to them, too, so they're not going to fall off your track. So come to Yankee Dabbler uh, or go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and get these rolling on your rails today because I know you're really going to like them. I guarantee. So we're going to travel back to HO land where we're going to take a look at some brand new rolling stock items from Walther's and I think you're really going to enjoy these cars, especially if you like some cushion coil cars. So let's check out these bad boys. As you can see here, I have here these Walther's Proto 50 foot Evans cushion coil cars. And I think these are really great looking cars here. As you can see, once again, I have a whole bunch of different row names. Norfolk Southern, I got the DT and I. Here is a beautiful CSX. I love that look there. Those colors, they just pop. And a very similar design here on the chassis system. As you can see, some of them have different designs for the uh, covers here. Just like this Burlington Northern Santa Fe. That's a cool one there. I got the Norfolk and Western. I got the Union Pacific. And probably the most beautiful out of the bunch, I got the Jade Green New York Central. And I think these cars just look fantastic. If you're looking for a rolling stock item that is highly detailed, that is very well made, and quite frankly, it's very appealing. These are just very interesting looking cars. There's nothing really strange about them, but this is the little subtleties with the different coils, uh, covers here, I think really make these cars stand out and pop. And I really think you're going to like these cars here. And we're going to take a look at one a little bit closer to see what these cars look like. So let's take a look at these cars a little bit more in depth. As you can see here, I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe, and these coil covers do come off. So if I do have coils that I want to put on there, I can do that. I have a die cast metal body, which is really nice. I like more metal on my train. I think that is good. As you can see here, I even just the detailing on these cars is great there. I got these nice walkways here. I have the little reflective bands there to simulate that. And I have these really nice couplers too that couple 
pretty good there as well so these are just great looking cars here they are incredibly detailed and of course you can flip these around if you want do different uh types of logo designs have them both fit in the same way you can mix them up if you want i mean overall i just think these are really nice high quality cars and for a very affordable price well, it's starting to get pretty bad weather-wise out there. We've already had some snowstorms over here in the East Coast, and we're probably going to get some more. So my wife said we really should get some salt, and we should get some shovels. So what I did is I bought a train that has a snow plow. See? I'm no dummy. So let's check out this SD40-3 from Scale Trains. So here I have this CSX Scale Trains SD40-3. And this is a really cool looking diesel locomotive. As you can see there, I got those reflective bands going there to simulate the reflections that you have on the real engine in case you get it at nighttime. I got this a tremendous amount of detailing there. Take a look at all of those fans that are in the top of that locomotive. This is just a really great looking diesel. And if you're looking for a, a relatively modern look and a relatively modern design on the diesel locomotive, with a snow plow i think this really fits the bill this is just a cool looking diesel locomotive and any of the rcsx fans out there if you don't have one of these engines well i think you're missing out you need to get one of these things because this engine is just fantastic and it sounds great too but don't take my word for it let's hear what it sounds like Isn't that a powerful startup sequence? That sounds awesome. As you can see there, I got those ditch lights illuminated, so if I hit the horn, they do rotate. Here is the bell. And away we go. I guess it would help if it was on the track a little bit better. There we go. Now, of course, if I put it in the reverse position here, these ditch lights go on, they are going to rotate again. And while I'm here, I may as well pick up some coil cars. CXX train 4042, ready to plow the snow, all aboard. Now arriving on track number one, train number 4042. I need more money for trains. All right, this is just a fantastic looking diesel locomotive here. I love everything about this. And if you want a modern era looking engine that is at a really high quality level, I think this engine fits the bill here. So you're probably wondering how much this engine is. Well, it retails for $319.99. But we are running a special on this engine. We are selling it for $254.99. And I'm going to be honest with you, we don't have a ton of these left. So if you're really interested in this engine, I think that snowplow right there 
really does add a great little detail to it. It's a bright yellow color. It looks great, especially if you want to uh, model something around the winter season. I think this is the engine to get. I think those snow plows just dress it up so much. You better act fast because we don't have a lot of these. So if you're interested in the CSX 4042 SD40-3 with the snow plow, come to Yankee Dabble or check out our website and get this engine pulling snow, uh, removing snow rather, on your layout today. We're going to conclude today's video with the biggest engine on our display here today. And we're going to be taking a look at a Lionel engine all the way from the Strasburg Railroad. Now, I know a lot of people, when you think about the Strasburg Railroad, you think about the great steam program that they have. And they have three fantastic operating steam locomotives currently. They had a fourth one in the works. They had that J engine there. They also had that little tank engine now uh, that goes peep peep all the time. But believe it or not, the Strasburg Railroad is also a lucrative freight business. And it takes uh, freight cars from Lemon Place Junction all the way to their Strasburg station so their customers can get their uh, get their consumer goods from uh, onto trucks. And the engine that usually pulls that is this guy right here. This would be the SW9 number 8618. And take a look at that engine there. This is a fantastic looking engine. And if you model the Strasburg Railroad, you gotta get one of these things here. But, just like I like to do, we're going to demonstrate what this thing sounds like, and I'm going to be using the legacy control system to see just what this engine has in store. So let's fire her up. So before we begin, I want to mention that this engine is uh, able to run a couple different ways. Of course, you can use your legacy system if you have the line of legacy system. You can run it conventionally with an old school transformer, although you're not really getting all the features that you would normally get. Or you can also run it with the Bluetooth app, and this engine does have Bluetooth capability. So I think that's really cool, especially if uh, you know a lot of the, uh, especially kids today, deal a lot on their phones. And so that is a great way to have a remote control already in your back pocket. You just put the train on, hook it up to Bluetooth, and we are going to let it rip. Well, today what I got here is I got here the legacy system, and that's how I'm going to control it. So let's start her up, shall we? All right. So the neat thing about this engine is Lionel does this new thing, and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit so you can make sure to hear me. Lino does a really cool uh, feature nowadays where they actually include five different horns on their engine. So here is the first one. As you can see, the smoke is actually already starting to come out of there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it from where I am. All right, so here is horn number one. If I don't like that, here's horn number two. Here's horn number three. Horn number four. And finally, horn number five. And back to my first one. Now, I think that's a really neat thing, especially if you have a bunch of engines that all kind of sound similar. You can now kind of customize on which one you want it to be, and I think that's really neat. As you can see in there, I have little people driving my engine here operating I guess you should say right engine your home okay and the bell actually does the same features I got five different pitch levels so here's the first one here's the second one third one let's get a little deeper now and finally the last one and back to the top pretty cool the way that they do that I think again if you want to have something that has a, a lot of customization I think line is really doing a great job there well let's pull her out please hold I want to drive it now oh well I'll disobey orders here we go This engine just creeps along. It does a great job. It has the speed control steps in here. 
So if you want a nice, slow operation, Lionel's got you covered there. And what's neat about it is, even though this engine only has one motor, it actually operates both sets of drivers. So that design is really cool. There's so many neat uh, different features to go in here. For example, I'm going to fill out with uh, oil, diesel fuel rather. This is so cool. There's a lot of play value that goes into these engines, and the lineup does a great job, especially when it comes to even though some of the crew talk, a lot of people don't like the crew talk because they think it's a little hokey, but I think it's really cool. So, this is a great engine, and I think you'd need it if you're an O scaler, if you're a Strasburger, or just if you just like trains. I think you need this. This is a great looking diesel locomotive, especially as I said, if you're an O-scaler and you need something to pull some of your trains, I think this is definitely the way to go. Now, look, it's even still smoking. Now, this has uh, smoke, die-cast metal couplers and trucks, actually electro couplers on both ends. The detailing is great. I think you really got to like this. Now, this engine is going to be selling at Yankee Dabbler for $499.99. It might seem like a lot, but truthfully, believe it or not, based on some of the prices that are going to be coming out in the next line out book this is actually a pretty good bargain if you want to get a really nice high quality engine because all those prices are going up so get this at the old price while you still can this is a great engine again i have one of them because i'm a big strasburg fan and if you like the strasburg railroad you need this on your roster so come to yankee dabbler check this out before this engine well it's on somebody else's land and you're thinking dang should have got it so these are all the items that we took a look at today. The SW9, I got the CSX uh, SD40-3, I got the N-Scale Autorex, and of course I got those coil cushion coil cars there. Everything you see here is on our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type in what you're looking for, check it out, and get those in your carts and hopefully on your railroad soon. Before, as I said, somebody else gets them. Before we wrap up today's show, I wanted to, uh, you know, I usually say, welcome to the Yankee Dabble, where every day is a train show, and I truly mean that, because we got so much stuff happening here all the time, it's crazy, just like a train show. But for those of us who actually like going to train shows, Yankee Dabbler has got to be doing a little tour, and we are going to tell you about three that we're going to be coming up. So, if you're available any of these days, stop by, we'd love to see you. So, on uh, J January, I almost said July, I hope, wishful thinking, in January 29th and 30th, we are going to be at the Amherst Big E, and that's going to be in West Springfield, Massachusetts, so if you're in the Massachusetts area, you want to come see Yankee Dabbler, or you just want to go to a train show, check out the Big E, I think you're really going to like that, again, that's January 29th and 30th. Or if you can't make that one and you're in the Timonium, Maryland area, on February 5th and 6th, we are going to be going to the Great Model 
Railroad train show and I think that is going to be a really cool one to see as well again That's in Timodium, Maryland on February 5th and 6th and finally If you can't make those two, but you're in the Wilmington, Delaware area We are going to be at the Greenberg train show in Wilmington on February 12th and 13th So we got three weekends back to back to back that we're going to be uh, Doing shows we're going to be hopefully meeting a lot of people selling a lot of trains make a lot of people happy because that is the goal here so if you're available for any of those shows stop by we would love to see you as a matter of fact i think engineer home even might be there signing autographs but he told me the current rate is 50 dollars an autograph 100 ahead you know what let's just skip that uh just come in come see us and get some trains because i think you're really gonna like it well, I want to thank you very much for watching our What's New Yankee Dabbler video. Hopefully you saw something that piques your interest and we'll find our way pulling trains on your layout in no time. Hopefully we'll see you at some of those shows coming up. But of course, if you can, you can always check our website, yankeedabbler.com. Or of course, if you're in the Jersey area to visit our store located in Belmar, New Jersey, we are open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. And you know what? We are really, really close to getting to 3,000 subscribers here on Engineers Hall channel. So, I mean, hit that subscribe button. Get clicked if you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall. If we get the 3,000 subscribers, we were thinking about things to do. We're going to do one of three things. We're either A, got to drive a real train over the Grand Canyon. B, we're going to create a time machine and go back to the, uh, the steam era. Uh, C, we're going to restore an actual steam engine from the ground up and get it running again. Or D, we'll just make a special video. One of those things has got to happen. So click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and uh, get caught up in everything you're doing. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to conclude this week's video with our rail fan video. We're going to go to the Strasburg Railroad to take a look at the real 8618 pulling a freight train into Strasburg. So enjoy that video. And if you excuse me, I got to get started on my train list here because you know what? I think I need more stuff. So I wrote down my list of all the things I need. For example, I need broccoli, carrots, a mut mush. Wait, what? Oh, this is my grocery list. So if I have this, then that means my wife has my... I gotta go. Bye. Oh, boy. This is bad.